But don't ever kill well, me without my being well, there. Oh, well, all right. I would love okay. to be there. Well, I'm, I will go out. Oh, wait. I went. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, oh hey, hi, everybody. Doing, it's good girl, to see so. you. They're so foggy around here, you never know when they're kidding with you. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying terrible and heinous things about somebody. Yeah. But anyway, hey, I want everybody to see our new airlines has just come to this That's part right. of the, uh, the the neighborhood. Yeah. This is uh, <laughs> Fly <laughs> of Rice Airlines. <laughs> Not to be confused with fried rice, and, which is something right, else all yet. There this they are. Is, this is Doris and this is Harold. <laughs> The, <laughs> I knew they wouldn't show up very the well. The original uh, authors of God is my <laughs> co-pilot. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? The flied rice. That's incredible. Oh, it really is. And uh, guests on the Cooking Chew program uh, fly by flied rice airlines. Uh -huh. Uh, right, Ed, and here, stay wherever what they is get. this? Well, we received... I can't wear it on my ear. It'll pull it down. I'll look like one of those things I'm you thinking see about in the National, National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about uh, having my, my ear pierced and wearing this. There's Dear Lair and Labor, or whatever. As being fans of yours for many years, even before your years at WBRA, we knew you as the voice on radio, and the other one is the voice as director in the theater. This one has us right here. We came across this kitchen with which pressed in glass plate, and it rang true as yours. We are fans of Ms. Witch and by no means intend any disrespect for her, but we would like you to have this plate in honor of the pleasant and entertaining shows you have given us. Sincerely, Melinda and Kent Kluke of Lafayette, Virginia. Thank you very much. It's real pretty. And that's really Lafayette. Is. Oh, Lafayette. Excuse Lafayette. me. Yeah, that's the way they pronounce it up there. I can't believe... I know how much you, you say Lafayette, and, <laughs> and I say Lafayette. Lafayette. Well, anyway, anyway, I got here's let's a whole just call pack a whole of thing of, yeah. Why don't we? Here's a, a whole <laughs> mess of mail from our pal Debbie Plymail, and Debbie, thanks so much for continuing to write to us. I guess she's about our number one fan. She, she writes is. us practically yeah. every week. M O M mess O M. Right, and she's always asking for the recipes, and we're glad to send them to you. And thanks, Debbie, for continuing to write to us all the time. Uh, dear Larry Laban, enjoy the show very much. Great, thanks for all of your cooking tips, recipes, and good fun. A listener, Judy Thornton. Well, she doesn't have a TV set for work. Yeah, that's right. So she listens to our TV show. If you want to send letters, there you go, right under Laban's chins. Go ahead. Well, this is a, a letter from Reba Spitzer in Timberville, Virginia. All right. And she says, and I want you to pay attention to this, Bly. Uh -oh. Some years back, uh -oh. I taught school at John Kerr in Winchester, Virginia. Uh -oh. I attended church at the then United Brethren on Braddock Street. Could Larry Bly be a member of the lovely Bly family who used to attend regularly? My family never attended anything regularly, <laughs> <laughs> much less the Braddock Street Baptist. Right. No, we are brethren. from that, uh, brethren, we are from up in that neck of the woods, so yes, it is the lovely Bly family <laughs> indeed. Cooking Cheap, your did, recipe. Did you go to Sunday school all the time? Oh, I did. I was a, s a superintendent oh, of Sunday school for four years. Isn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen, four to years. know? That's not that a lie. The baby Bly. Baby Bly. Before That's he right. went astray. Ashtray. Committed every known atrocity known in the Bible. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Your recipe, shown on PBS Channel 30 in Fort Myers, Florida, really has my taste buds going. <laughs> <laughs> and closed is our self-addressed staff envelope for you. Recipe, thank you for the program. Michael La, L-A-H, that's an well, unusual La. name. Fort North, Fort Myers, Florida. Right. Lovely state La -da -da. park. Right. Well, anyway, I get, we need to go to the kitchen because we got a mess of stuff going on today, Bly. A mess of stuff. I have a mess of stuff in my back pocket. It's oh. getting bigger every week. Oh, you just look like Nick. Mickey Mouse with that tail chasing out on you. Uh, before we start, let me tell you, you know, we're doing Beautiful. our meal, our, our uh, well-balanced oh, meal this year. I was year. saying goodbye to Doris. And so we're now up on the rice dishes. So this, these are uh, two side dishes that you could serve with some kind of fine meal using rice. Side dishes. Side dishes. Don't you think sweater looks real good on TV? Yes, it does. Yellows are particularly yes. bright here uh -huh. at Blue Ridge Public Television. Of course, today. you are I'm, a winter person, and you should be wearing grays and you know lavender. I uh, am going to do <laughs> nutty rice, the very wacky and ever popular nutty rice. It's wacky. It's nutty. It's incredible. It's strange. And I have here about three or four cups. Actually, it's a little bit less than that, ladies and gentlemen, because my pot was a bit small. <laughs> this pot's getting bigger. These pots are getting smaller on this show. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of rice, and I want you to know I cooked it the old-fashioned way. What'd you do to it? Well, I mean, it's, it's real rice. It's not that oh. fake stuff. It's the real stuff. And I'm letting all the steam out of it while I'm sitting here talking about it. 
that I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff to it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start chopping and cut. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, over here, I was over here. Somebody cut this off? You did you soak it? So you did? Yeah, oh, okay. It looks yeah. like it's soaked. I got a little soaked mm -hmm. myself. There they are, the soaked raisins. You can see they're not dancing because they're all soaked. They can't stand or anything. Soak it about uh, how much? <laughs> about uh, half a cup of raisins. And I've got uh, four cups of rice in here. I'm going to keep that hot. And now I'm just going to take care of a couple of other things. I've got to chop some parsley and some peanuts and this and that and the other. And I'm just going to start on that while we're waiting around now. Here's Laban. Oh, oh, so fast, so fast. Well, what, uh, a friend of mine, I gotta wash I, my parts. this is a lawyer in these parts, one of, one of our better known shysters around here, and he gave me this recipe about two years ago, do it and die. <laughs> anyway, uh, he did, he gave this, Ross Hart is his name, very famous legal family in these parts, Big Daddy Hart is his father, J Big Jim Hart. And uh, so he gave me this recipe and swears and attest to it. So it's for a mushroom pilaf. And the first thing you start out with, and somebody has taken the, what happened to the box that was right here? What Did somebody box? throw it away, this empty box that was right here? What was the box? A rice box. Here it is. <laughs> oh, how, how silly humiliated. Him. He has humiliated himself in front of his public. This is a, just a plain old Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice box. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, it's cooking right here in this pot. And we're using this big metal bowl for the lid to it. You know we what can't I'm using to today? Lid. What are you I'm using? using some of this fine stuff My, here. What is Comet. 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 Anyway. And anyway, that's cooking just like it says on the box. And now. No what stuff, I, Sherlock. What I've got to do is to cook in this frying pan a half a pound of bacon cut into about one inch squares. So that's going to go over here <laughs> just like that. And you get your eyes put out on the set. Well. I don't know why. I don't know. Why. Ooh, what a mess. This bacon has gotten warm in here under the lights and it's hard to cut. But anyway, that's all going to go in there and we're going to cook this bacon until it's crisp. I need another pan. Crisp. And Not very. that will go into our recipe eventually, but we have other things to do to it. Other fish to fry. Other fish were. to fry. So, Larry, yeah. we'll come back to you. Okay, well, I just discovered that I have, <laughs> a, I need to start a little margarine back here on this oh. eyeball in the back. Oh, okay. Oof. Did it start? This thing makes me what, a little on nervous. This thing? No, 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 no. I just set oh. that there. Oh, okay. I need to start some margarine over here. And what I'm going to do is. Uh, Three tablespoons of margarine. That's a little more than that, but I'm going to use up the whole thing. I hate to waste. Haste makes waste. I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to put a little curry in that and mix it together is what we're going to do. Blend the curry powder with margarine. So I'm going to do that right there. Just sort of melt it up a little bit. It just makes it a little bit easier oh, to Bly. mix them together. Yes. Mr. Bly. Yes. I wish you would look. What's this? Now, you know, we have, over nine years, we have been insulted numerous times by our staff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I don't believe we've ever had one that actually sat down on the floor out of boredom <laughs> while we were <laughs> sitting on the floor uh -huh. today. Eh, what are you going to do? He's been on his know, feet all day. Kids. Anyway. Well, so I'm just going to melt a little margarine. I got so many things going. I got my, I got these things soaking, these raisins soaking. I got my rice already made up and oh. should be ready momentarily because it has to sit for about 15 minutes. And I'm getting this margarine ready and I'm going to put a little curry. You know how much I love curry. Well, I figured that you would be gentle with it since we know that you're not yes, you're terribly right. fond you'll, of it. Yes, you're right. You can be assured that you will not get any more than the apprised, the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, amount uh, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of curry powder. I can assure you there'll be no more than a quarter in there. That's one of these things. I'm getting ready to mix it in there right now I so it'll all blend together. Is, uh, yeah, I believe it's going bigger than Nixie. And my <laughs> I believe I need to turn it off before we My bacon it. is cooking pretty good here, I guess. Ooh, smell that. I know you'll like that. Mm -hmm. Put your snout down in there, Johnson. Oh. How much did you put in? Well, it's my pan. If I want to pick it up, I can. There it is. Right. <laughs> they got right I body with the, me because I moved the pan. Well, you know what's wrong, C. Larry. <laughs> what's wrong today is 
Miss Maureen, our notorious sound lady. Uh, she's getting married. Yeah, she's got to get on a plane to go to Dallas, Texas, wherein she will be nuptialized uh, day after tomorrow. Dingy, dingy, Just, the bells or are real soon, to run. Right, and, or yeah. maybe it's longer than that, yeah, three or four days. That, but I'm anyway, sure we wish her well, and Maureen, I hope they can hear you when you say I do. <laughs> But her mic probably won't be open, and it'll right. cross. If they video cross phasing it, nobody will do it. It'll be like a silent movie. <laughs> she'll, have a little, she'll have a little cross phasing problem. They'll miss the whole thing. Well, we're going to do about a third of a cup of chopped parsley, and I hate to and say this. And you know this, when the uh, cross phasing problem will be. When, when will that be? <laughs> well, it'll be after the reception. Oh. <laughs> Maureen, if I were you, I'd be emptying out back there and coming right in here onto the set, sort of like they did on. Uh, that Geraldo show sometime back, oh, just sort yes. of empty out and uh -huh. become a we part a of it. We big food fight in One here. time, baby. I'm, I'm just chopping up a little parsley down here. Isn't it pretty? We have reached that time of the year here in Virginia in these environs when, when the parsley, she is just about gone. And so I have to go out and buy the stuff now. What, what does it look like, Bly? What's that? What, what do it look like in the bottom of the mushroom it's thing? It's real bad, Johnson. It looks like maybe they grew it in that actual container. Well, it looks to me like that maybe... You know what they grow mushrooms in. We don't have to be real now, specific wait a minute about here. it. But it's, you know, horse things. But I think this was a rodent in this one. But in any Roger event... Roger Rodent. Right. Now, I'm going to chop some right. nuts. Or would you be offended? No, you go right ahead. I've got to stem these oh, mushrooms. Oh, did you hear that? They were fresh. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, don't do it. You'll break your teeth. you got those delicate teeth. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to take, oh, these are those unsalted things. Mm, I hate that when that happens. I need to have a quarter of a cup of chopped peanuts, and I brought my old antique chopper along with me. I'm going to take them out and, no, I'm just oh. joking. This thing, right here. You know, I had this laying out to bring down and someone offered me money for it. Well, well I've I got to tell you something, like boys it. and girls. This is one that's got three of the tongs missing inside and it only chops every fourth nut. <laughs> it does. Look at that. There's some whole ones in there. Excuse me. Look at it. Over here. Right. Jim's getting real upset with me. That's the second time I've done that today. And I don't care. <laughs> well, it's good for them. Keeps them on their toes. Well, it really does. Sorry, David. <laughs> <laughs> when they start throwing things down from above. Is that a quarter of a cup? Hardly. Where'd they go? There they are. So I'm not going to do that for a while. Now back to David. Well, you know David up there in, in our startling overhead shot. David, <laughs> I, I was talking to one of your college teachers last night, and he was telling me stories about the little David and in college and everything, and I, I was just terribly amused about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's true. Some of our staff are college graduates. Some um. have graduated from elementary school. <laughs> and there's one in here that maybe went to kindergarten. Yes. Well, this bacon is doing fair. Now, Bly, I've got a half a pound of mushrooms that I'm going to be uh, slicing here while uh, while we show the recipes. I think we're both at a right dull period oh, no. of the show. Maybe we need to show the recipes and see how this mess is made. Mushroom pilaf. Oh, well, for that you need a box of long grain wild rice, eight ounces of sliced bacon, eight ounces of sliced mushroom, and a tablespoonful of margarine. And that's all the ingredients. This is easy. The nutty rice, the wacky rice, a half a cup of raisins, which you soak either in sherry, and, unless she gets real huffy about it, and then you gotta go to water. Quarter cup of curry powder, three tablespoons of margarine, and then a third cup of chopped parsley, quarter cup of chopped peanuts. Gives floor director a whole new name, doesn't it? Quarter of a teaspoon of salt, four <laughs> cups of hot cooked rice and you just mix it all up and throw it together. In fact, I think I'll do that right now because he's still chopping. It's going to be a couple of minutes. Now, I've got this real honest to goodness rice. You can see it's real steamy. And what I'm going to do is we're going to mix everything together at this point. I thought we'd mix it in a bowl, but I've decided I'm not going to mix it in a bowl. I'm going to mix it right in here. You know, put that parsley in there. This is the curry and margarine combination. I'm going to pour that 
in there. Seems like a piddly small amount for as much rice as it is, but that's what it calls for. And then the next thing I got to do is I got to, oh yeah, and I've got the, the peanuts. This is more than, a little bit more than a quarter of a cup, I believe, but I don't care. A little heavy on the peanuts. Throw those in there. I hope they weren't supposed to be thrown on top of it. It doesn't matter to me. And then I've got, I've got to drain these off because you don't want to put that in there. I'm going to put my lid back on so it all doesn't get cold. All right, I'll be right back. Laban? Well, I'm still chopping these uh, mushrooms. And I hope when they get in the pan, oh, this one is didn't chop all the way through. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, I'm getting ready. To, you take the bacon out of the pan before it's completely uh, fried crisp because you don't really want it to be crisp. You just want it to be mm -hmm. soft and done. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fry, fly our mushrooms in the bacon grease. Okay, so, while you're finishing that up, I will add the final ingredient to this. And the final ingredient is, of course, the the nice little raisins. And then all you do is just mix this mess all together. I'm going to mix it right in the pot so it'll stay nice and hot. And it's just real pretty. Very colorful with the greens and raisins and the curry. Ooh, that smells good. Real, doesn't that look pretty? Johnson, I must tell you, you choose a lot of the recipes for our programs, and I must tell you that this one and the one we're going to do next week, which I've already tried. No, week after next. Week after next, I'm sorry. I get so darn confused on this show. Uh-huh. Uh, if this is this week, it must be Roanoke. Uh, are excellent recipes. They really are. Well, good. Just wonderful recipes. And there you go. Isn't it pretty? It's just a picture of loveliness, and we'll cover it back up so we don't lose all that heat. And that's okay. all. All right. For me. All I'm right. Finished. Well, I'm not. I've got a good ways to go. Oh, for heaven's sake. Here, I thought I was filling for you. No. I tried. Let's start this recipe over again, just in case you missed a couple of steps somewhere. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, this now bacon, Mr. Johnson is stirring his bacon. And it's just about ready. It's not uh, completely fried up here. I'm going to have to turn up the heat on it. No, not on that one, fool. Doris, is my, is my time up yet? My 25 minutes that I Doris asked goes, you. Duh. Duh. Time? Huh? Oh, okay. All right, good. Harold is on All top right, of good. it. From another well, set, he is speaking. Looks like he's doing a talk show on the other now side I'm of the trying studio. To get the, ooh, which one of these? What did I do? I don't know. Oh, that top is not for that pan. That That's top a, is not for that pan, I don't believe. All right, now this bacon is going to go over into this bowl. Well, i got to get some water boiling for the next show. <laughs> no, I'm no, just joking. It's, it's show after next, I believe. It. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get it boiling. No, so. it's, we've already taken care of it. Oh, oh All okay. right, now yeah. I've got to have two about... I've got, I mean, oh, don't put it in there. Why not? Oh, good heavens. Well, I've got to do it. I mean, that's just the way it is. That's show business. Now, these mushrooms go into about two tablespoons full of the bacon fat. Ooh, you know they're going to be good. And mm. they have to be mm -hmm. reduced down by a third. And I know. You, I've seen it days when you were reduced down by a third. All right. And it has to. In the front office a couple of times. Uh-huh. Yes. That, that tart little that secretary. Chewing my ears off uh -huh. or something. Boy, that's going to be right, good. All right, now, I need... Mm -mm -mm. What? This. Now, I'm going to take this out. Not yet. And there is my... Yeah, it's done. They're goading me into doing other things, and, well, we just I'm, have to watch this recipe for a couple of minutes. As boring as it may be. And it's not, really. He's no. just got a lot of things going. Boy, that's pretty. Yes, it is. Now, let me... <laughs> All right, now let me, the rice, this is the long grain and wild rice, is going to go into the bowl. And there it is. This is going to be a treat. Well, we hope. I was just saying that to fill time. Oh, I see. Well, you do it so well. All right. Did I sound convincing? Well, more or less, yes. Yeah, I've been on this did. show for a long time. Very, I can, yeah. I now, can. these mushrooms, woo. You can do these over real high heat if you keep stirring them like I'm going to do. Like you're doing now. And they are beginning to give up. Give it up. They're uh, liquid. Mushrooms are full of liquid. And the salt in the bacon grease will make them do that as well as the heat. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
and they are beginning to do it. Oh, come on, you sweet little mushrooms. Maybe we could have the witch, the witch uh, come in. She was real insulted. You know, she didn't get to get on last well, week. Well, it's too bad. So, you can't get on, you just have to. No, no, no be careful. Maybe I better not say that. All right. Hey, here Woo. she comes. Swooping come here, through. Honey. Swooping through. Steve, what was that? Oh, my God. She's passed over Laban because last week for last he swatted her. No, real he badly. wasn't passed over last week. Dear manly men. Oh. All right. It's <laughs> getting as bad as Johnson. What do you use squirrel in? <laughs> <laughs> I got one wearing an, an ID that said Rocky. <laughs> Help, we don't have tree kill very often. <laughs> Squirrel probably fell out of the tree and broke Oh, its this is from La Fur McGuinn. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? Well, they, you think we're joking, but next week. That's right. We we're, have a recipe that could use, use squirrel. squirrel. We got the squirrel. Yeah. But, but it doesn't actually have. Doesn't actually have it in because, well, yeah, well, thanks, Doris says she's got one, just exactly got, what I want. Just, yeah. One of our little furry friends on the dinner table. We're even week. afraid to mention it around here because every time we mention a critter, Doris and Harold bring them in. Uh -huh. And I'm afraid to mention anything anymore. It scares well, me. Well, anyway, no, next week we're going down to Booker's Place, Booker T. Washington. That's right, Booker T. Washington. It's going to be our second show of the season that we're going to do outside this year. On location. On location. And we're cooking it in Booker's cookhouse. Literally in where a he cabin lived. over an open fire. And we're going to do That's Brunswick true. stew, one of the ingredients of which, of which is, is squirrel, squirrel That's if right. you can get it. That's squirrel. And we couldn't that day, so we used something else. All right. I think it became, no, no, I don't know what we used that. What did we use that day? Turkey? Chicken. Chicken. We used chicken. Yeah. Chicken. My, it sure good. looks greasy. The real uh, recipe calls for, uh, Brunswick stew calls for woodchuck and squirrel, but we didn't feel that we could get into that. They're probably full of cholesterol and not too good for you. Now, this, now, you put these mushrooms down in here and you stir this all around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, David, our producer, is in the back crying because we've messed up a perfectly good vegetarian recipe with By this putting that bacon, bacon in, in it. Right. But, but that's the way it goes. We love That's bacon. the way the recipe came we to us from our bacon. trusty viewer. Well, are we ready? I think we are. Let's go to the table. Uh. And Doris, as soon as we go to the table, maybe you can arrange to put the uh, the water back on to boil. Ugh. Peace to you. Oh, I forgot the spoon. I was so busy getting everything, and I forgot the spoon. Here, well, me. you reckon we'll have enough rice? Well, I hope so. We should have invited some of our Chinese friends over today. They or could have told some, us something. Some of those about people it. from down at Duke University where they have that uh, rice diet. <laughs> I think we're getting ready to blow up here in the No, kitchen. no, you just have to just turn it doors to on that doors little doors, just uh, pull it down just a little <laughs> bit off a of top pull there. <laughs> Excuse and us while we do clicking. a show here. There it is. Uh, let's see how this is. Mm mm mm. Doris, would you sit down? Starting to make me nervous. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Long rice is good. Well, yours with the mm -hmm. curry is mm -hmm. delicious mm -hmm. too. Well, I know that anything, if I had served a bowl of dirt with curry on it, you would say that. Well, I am fond of it, but I mean, I wouldn't go that far, Larry. D is it really nutty rice? Does it taste real nutty? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Tastes mm -hmm. good. I think it could have done with a little tad more salt and maybe just a little bit, I know you're going to drop over, but just a tad bit more curry. I don't believe it. You heard it here, folks. He wanted more curry powder, and that's unheard of. But you're, uh, It's but just a little weak on the curry, in my this opinion. This mushroom pilaf is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. A raw so if you prepare this recipe at home, throw the curry to it, depending on how much you like. Johnson says you can't use too much of it. And you're right, this pilaf is fabulous. 
These are two excellent recipes. We're proud of ourselves. Yes, we are. They're good and good for you, too. Bye.